Hello and welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. So today I'm going to do a little bit of a hybrid um, sort of news, and then also a just a welcome because it's been a pretty insane month for the channel to say the very least. I mean, holy crap, it's it's like 50,000, 55,000 subscribers now, which is absolutely mind-blowing. And I just want to say to all the new people who have joined, thank you, thank you, I really appreciate it. And yeah, hopefully things are just going to go up from here, should be a lot of fun. Now, um, a lot of you have probably seen there's been a lot of guides and stuff like that happening over the last, uh, really over the last week. That might continue and then I'll probably be doing raid guides as well, but I will be branching into other kinds of content. Don't worry, there's uh, plenty plenty of stuff to come, but if there are any specific things you want to help with, maybe maybe any ideas for a guide or just video ideas in general, throw them down in the description. Plus, I will be restarting my Q&A series. And of course, now that Warlords of Draenor is actually released, I'm sure there are many new and interesting questions that people have, so... Be sure to leave them down in the description and I will I will read through all those and put them in a list for when I next do the Q&A. Anyway, with all that housework covered, it's time to talk about the news. Uh, now, I would do this, you know, uh, as a sort of big fancy, well-edited video, but I'm kind of hopping off to Sligo soon, so I need to be pretty quick with my production for today. Now then, big bit of news number one. 10 million subscribers. That's insane, and more importantly, 10 million subscribers as of the 13th of November 2014. Bearing in mind that the game only comes out, or I suppose came out, in Asia on the 20th. And as I'm sure you may all know, there are quite a few people over there. So I'd say that we could be maybe hitting 11 or 12 million subscribers, which certainly is a very, um, a very good thing to hear. And I think it is indicative of the, just the return to form the Blizzard have had with this expansion. I mean, just before I decided to record this video, PC Gamer released their review and gave it a, like, they gave it a 90, which is extremely high, and overall, stuff's just been going very well for the game. Personally, I've been having a lot of fun with it so far, and really, it seems like this is just 10 million because they made a good game, people wanted the traditional Warcraft feel, and they've really delivered on that, so definitely very nice to see. Now, the big thing that I suppose we don't know is how well are they going to support Warlords of Draenor, you know, in terms of patches and things like that. I'd argue that while patch 5.3 and 5.4 did have their good points, they were perhaps a little bit sparse in content, so hopefully that's something that they will bear in mind when they do future patches. Certainly the future's pretty bright, and uh, yeah, we got 10 million, and here is too many more. So next, there's a little bit of a cool thing that just happened. You may not be aware of this because it was done via hotfix, but you get now get uh, 50 garrison resources for a random heroic dungeon. I think this is really good. Um, previously, the random heroic only gave you a bunch of gold, which was fine, but I now think that 50 garrison resources and a little um, heap of gold is actually a nice just a thing to incentivize people to do a random heroic. Now that there's no valor points, the I suppose the idea of doing a random heroic really didn't make much sense. So uh, I suppose they put that carrot back in, and certainly I know a lot of people want more ways to get garrison resources, so this will hopefully alleviate that issue. Though on garrison resources, my overarching tip is just get a follower with a scavenging trait via the Lunar Fall in, and you will be happy, because scavenger is so good and so powerful. Now, also on the topic of dungeons, they've changed things up a little bit with the loot system. It used to be personal loot, which just meant that you'd go up to the boss, you'd kill it, you'd loot it, and maybe you'd get something. That was it. There was no rolling or anything like that. They've actually reverted it back to need and greed. This is a decision that I personally am not for, because I think it just leads to more bullshit going on with randomers. And there was nothing wrong with personal loot. A lot of people said that it didn't feel as rewarding, but... I would argue that as long as, you know, if you're getting the same amount of usable drops per hour, then it's fine, and I think that on a large scale you are, so it should really be okay. Um, yeah, Blizzard actually said that they were a little bit surprised by the response to that change, because if you look at MO Champion and the recent poll that they did, 65% of respondents wanted personal loot back. If you look at the forums, we've got capped and extended threads for people just saying, hey, we like personal loot for heroic dungeons. So I'd say that what will happen is maybe they'll add personal loot back in. One of the devs literally said, wow, I'm surprised by this reaction that we're undergoing discussions. So yeah, hopefully personal loot comes back. It would be nice if they maybe did one or two little tweaks. So perhaps you could get a, a bit of a compensation prize if the boss didn't drop a piece of gear. So maybe, maybe a bit of garrison resources, maybe something, I don't know. 
Um, but yeah, that I think could be uh, a good way to do it. Really though, no matter what Blizzard decide to do, I'm sure that someone won't be happy and I don't really care enough to, well, really give a damn too much. So we'll see how it pans out. But anyway, time to talk about the 10th anniversary. So the event is now live. You can do Molten Core and you can do Taran Mill. However, with that said, I do not recommend doing Molten Core. It's a little bit of a mess at the minute. Uh, certainly there are LFR related issues with coordination and all that stuff. But also, there's a little bit of a bug where your group gets disbanded after two and a half hours right before you're about to kill Ragnaros. That wasn't fun. So yeah, I don't have my helm, I don't have my core hound, but I have got two Ragnaros. It just, you know, the thing that, that says, uh, you know, you're, you are no longer in the group for this instance, we'll kick you out in five seconds. That just appears for everyone and boom, you're gone. So a very annoying bug. Lost me a lot of time this morning, a bit, a bit miffed about that, so I can't recommend that you do Molten Core until they make some official post about that issue being fixed, because it really is quite annoying. So yeah, a little bit of a rough start, but for what I've heard from Tyron Mill versus South Shore is that it's actually pretty fun. So yeah, that's what's going on with the 10th anniversary. Then finally, there's just some PvP stuff to talk about. So there was a bit of an issue where people could A, get Conquest gear and B, get Conquest points. Despite the fact that the season doesn't start until the 2nd of December. So what's going to happen is on the 2nd of December, all Conquests will be turned into Honor and all Conquest gear will be turned into the corresponding bit of, um, bit of Honor gear. That's going to come as a disappointment to some who did get that gear and I suppose reasonably enough got that gear. However, I think it was the right decision to do because, or to make, because you don't want to have a PvP season start with some people already having top tier gear. It would throw off the balance, so it's just a bit of a shitty situation and I think they did the best that they could. Anyway, so that's really it for this video. Sorry for the lo-fi production and all that stuff. Um, again, as I said, I'm kind of rushing off to, uh, to Sligo here. Now, I do have a bunch of videos already prepared, so don't worry, there'll be plenty of content over the weekend. And yeah, hopefully you enjoy that. But anyway, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching the video. Thanks for subscribing to all the new people, and I will see you next time.